Hello, this is My Mobile Learning Tips, a video podcast series that is meant to help students and teachers make use of mobile technology both in the classroom and on the go. My name is Andreas Hofer and in this episode I'm going to show you how to work with video. On the web there are literally millions of videos that are useful for learning and can be used in the classroom by teachers. My first tip is organizing these with playlists which help you not only organize your videos but also find them very quickly and share them with students and classmates. In order to create playlists you need to log in on YouTube on the web and open the video manager by clicking on your login menu on the top right corner. Next you click on the playlist tab which opens up all your playlists. In order to create a new playlist click on the add new playlist button. Give your playlist a title like English vocab and then you're done. Now you can add a new video to your playlist whenever you want. Video vocab is a series of short videos for explaining Whenever you find a video you would like to add, just click on the add to button underneath the video and select the playlist to which you would like to add it. You can create playlists for different topics, subjects, as well as individual classes and share them with students or classmates by sending the list's URL link. If you want to use video in front of an audience, like in the classroom, the YouTube Remote app, which is available for free from the Android market, comes in very handy. It works like this. You need to log in on YouTube and then use the following URL youtube.com slash leanback. Then you need to pair your phone and the screen by clicking the screen options in the apps menu and choose which playback screen you want to use. Then you simply use your playlist to select a video you would like to show and you can use your phone like an ordinary remote control. You're watching Video Vocab by BusinessEnglishPod.com This is particularly useful if you need to pause several times to discuss the video. You can rewind the video in case you want to show it again, which is often the case in foreign language classes. Teachers don't need to stand behind a PC. In fact, it would be best to stand in the rear of the classroom to check the volume. You can even turn up or down the volume using the app. Last but not least, you can save a lot of time searching for the video you want to show as you have all your playlists available on your phone. This is the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it.